Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Nick Does Disney. I'm whispering because it's super early. It is 4.30 in the morning, and this is the walking path from the Yacht Beach Boardwalk area over to Hollywood Studios so we can join the masses very early in the morning to try to get a boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. Waking up on vacation at 4 a.m., always a good idea, always fun, but it'll be worth it if we get on this ride. It is about 4.40ish, and we just went through security. And now here is the front entrance to Disney's Hollywood Studios, and you can see yes, sir, that the lines are way backed up already. But all we got to do is get a touch point in at 6 o'clock, you can make your boarding pass. So now, we hurry up and wait. This is what 4.50 a.m. looks like in line at Hollywood Studios. Lots of folks already. But now, like I said, all you have to do is go to security, yeah. tap your magic band, but you still cannot start doing any boarding passes until 6 a.m. So they've been letting people in at about 5.30, but you still can't do anything until 6 a.m. So here's hoping that getting here early, we still get a boarding pass and at a decent time, but we'll see. All right, 5.20 a.m., they just made an announcement. It looks like we're gonna get ready to go in, Cam. Uh -huh. But we still have to wait about 40 minutes until boarding groups start, probably. So we'll go in. We're on to maybe Toy Story Land and uh, see what time they start all that stuff. And hope for a boarding pass. All right, 5.30 a.m. and we are going through the touch points now to get in. We still have 30 minutes until we can get our boarding pass. And at least they're only doing the uh, touch point. They're not doing the fingerprint, so that speeds it up a little. All right, so we waited in the pouring rain for about 30 minutes. They let us in right at 6 o'clock. And we had a big issue with our... Um, phones are my Disney experience trying to get a boarding pass it said we aren't we all weren't linked with our tickets or something so I had to keep opening and closing it opening and closing it and it finally works we got boarding group 100 I gotta do some research on my phone and see what time that's typically yeah, called but it won't be for a while so right now we're out of the rain and in Toy Story Midway Mania so we're gonna ride that try to get some breakfast we can go maybe try to get in line for smugglers run i don't know we're gonna play everything by ear but it's pouring rain so at least we're dry for now all right so that's pretty much a walk on for midway mania any other day we would want to be in here forever so we could stay dry but carson you ready to go shoot some blasters all right so i looked it up boarding group 100 should be okay okay they've been getting to like 120s and 30s lately so we'll see all right, Cam, you ready? First ride of the day, Midway Mania. Let's see if you can beat your high score. We're just a kitty cat. Hey, hey, kitty cat. Practice, practice round. All right, I'll put it away. We'll see what the scores are later. All right, Cam, that's our game. Let's see how we did. Ah, uh, 185, 3, 76,100. Not bad, not bad. I did break 200,000, but we did pretty good, Sam. Pretty good. I got less than normal. Sorry, so did I. Ah. Best in vehicle. Best is hour. Holy smoke, somebody did really good. Alright, so we're gonna stick in Toy Story Land. We did Midway Mania and No Time Flat. Now we are at Alien Swirling Saucers. Millennium Falcon is already a two hour wait. Tower of Terror isn't that bad, but somebody is a little afraid. So now we're gonna ride Swirling Saucers. And then we kinda don't have anything, so we'll see. Carson, pick an alien. Alright. Ken, okay, let's take a nice green alien. Time to get dizzy. All right, we're on our alien. And we're swirling, we're swirling, we're swirling on an alien. Oh, we didn't get a Christmas song, I just noticed that. Still super fun. Whee! Hang on tight. 
right, so we knocked out a couple of rides. We took a potty break. And now we're going to enter Galaxy's Edge and go to Docking Bay 7. I've never had breakfast there. I've had uh, lunch, dinner type food there a couple of times. But now it is time to try out their breakfast, their Bright Sun's platter. So let's go uh, try to get a table and check it out. It looks like we're in Batu at like 8 o'clock at night. In reality, it's about 6.50 in the morning. It is so early. And uh, the boarding group passes ran out, I don't know, at like 6.15? It's like 6.15, 6.20? Okay, so it was very early. The boarding groups were gone, but they're already up to, it's almost seven o'clock now. I think they're up to about 30. So if it keeps up at about 30 an hour or so, I don't know, maybe it won't be too bad. But anyway, time to eat. Right, we are at Docking Bay 7, waiting for our mobile order. So cool in here, all the little details. No seating. All right, so there's no seating anywhere inside. So luckily right now it's not raining, not yet anyway. So we got the uh what is this called it's like a breakfast platter i forget the exact name but it comes with basically like a little egg mold thing it comes with a sausage that you get in the ronto wrap the Mustaf mustafari and lava roll and purple potatoes and you got a big mustafi and lava roll so let's eat up before the rain comes again uh -huh. camden how did you start eating inside now we switched places mom found a table so now we are inside so this is pretty cool and it just started raining, of course, as soon as we sat down outside. Mom went to get like sugar and cream and stuff, and now we got an inside seat. So. Alright, so we're done with our breakfast at Docking Bay 7, and that was actually super tasty. The meal, the sausage and the egg, was essentially what's in a Ronto wrap. You just don't have to eat the bread. And now we're going to walk to... Slinky Dog Dash. Slinky Dog Dash. That's an hour and a half wait. We were thinking about Smuggler's Run, but it's literally four hours, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, so now we're gonna head over to Toy Story Land. The line for Smuggler's Run, I have never seen this before. This is insane. I used to think it was long when you would be like, you know, back outside of the show building, but it is wrapped around to Toy Story Land and further back, four hours. I love Smuggler's Run. I would never wait four hours for it. That's crazy. Hey Carson. We're not at Slinky Dog Dash. Last time I had the camera on, we were over there. Where? But where are we now? The Hollywood Tower Hotel going up. The Tower of Terror. Carson, you were going to chicken out earlier, but I guess you changed your mind. Chicken. Oh, Why are you going to change your mind? Because I said I would buy you a souvenir. If you ride it, we'll maybe get you a little plush. That's all he wants is a plush. So it's still raining. Boarding groups are up to like 40. And it is what time? Anybody know the time? Damn it, what time is it? You have a watch now. 7.44. 7.44. So in almost two hours, we're about boarding group 40. So we're still not quite halfway. So we got a little ways to go. So more rides. Carson, you ready to go down? Ooh, it's a very spooky hotel. Hey Carson, do you think we should stay here instead of the boardwalk tonight? Yeah, no. No, you don't. You wouldn't want to sleep here. It's, a, it's the same kind of music as the hotel. The library, I know. Very spooky. The time is now on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator. Still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Alright, just about that time. Yeah, we're going down. We're going down. Let me see those hands, people. Wrong ride. All right, we just got off the Tower of Terror, and we'll put our ride photo in. Yeah. All right, so now we're in a gift shop. Oh essentially like a Pixar gift shop because Carson was brave enough to ride Tower of Terror so now he gets a little souvenir. You want a plush? So we'll look around and see what we see. Alright guys, what'd you find? A uh, Russell. A uh, Russell and a... 
Doug. Doug. Because you guys love, love, love up. So you can get these as a reward, but you gotta behave. And if you don't behave, they go away. No. All right, so behave. And keep them dry. It is pouring, but we are uh, getting closer on Slinky Dog Dash, and it would start just absolutely torrentially downpouring when we get in line for this ride. There's like no rain, and now there is. So while we're waiting in the rain for the ride, that's just a cool little detail. This piece of track that's out front in the queue is being held up by Gun. Gun. Isn't that cool? Pretty funny. All right, guys, hour and a half wait. And it stopped raining right before, and now it's raining. You're gonna get wet. It just stopped raining, and now it's raining again. So painful. That's all right. We get wet. We get wet. Yeah, I guess so. Here it comes good old Slinky Dog. All right, here we go. Hop aboard. All right, into the rain we go. Oh, it's all right. All right, maybe we caught a break. Here we go. and how was it? Yes. And we didn't get wet. No. We caught a break. The rain stopped. Uh -huh. Rain, rain, go away. All right. Where are we off to? Uh, Want to do some shows? Maybe let's go see if we can do a show. All right. So we're going to take in the Muppet Vision show because it's still a little bit rainy. Everything's a super long line for rides anyway. So. It's Muppet Most Wanted. I know. I think we'll do this and then maybe go home the Skyliner. You guys want to do the Skyliner, Carson? Yeah! That would be super fun. So let's go do Muppet Vision and then we'll do the Skyliner. Hey, 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 look! Look at the guy in the goofy mask! That's not a mask. Oh, sorry, lady! <laughs> Hi-ho, Kermity Frog here, and welcome to Muppet Vision 3D! Now, let me show you around our research center. See, here in this modern, high-tech facility... Ah! Hey! Careful! <laughs> Here in this modern high-tech facility, we have perfected Muppet Vision 3D, a new film process which we're about to demonstrate today. Uh, now, according the projector is an old friend of ours, the Swedish chef. Oh. Chef, everything okay? Hey, open, open, the machine is going to be good. Exactly. And our demonstration includes a little song from this video. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm? Little? Uh, did I say little? Uh, I meant to say it's a, uh, a huge, show-stopping, major song from Miss Piggy. That's more like it. <laughs> and we've also got a big musical finale from Sam Eagle. Sam, what's it about? It's called a salute to all nations, but mostly America. Great. So it's going to be a swell demonstration, and at no time will we be stooping to any cheap 3D tricks. Did you say cheap 3D tricks? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, and here's 
something, I wanted to spring on you. <laughs> Walner, it's that dumb bear again. Yeah. Hey, bear, you're not even funny in 3D. <laughs> oh, not you guys. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, my new 3D act's going to shower you all with humor. <laughs> Waka waka! He's trying to drown us! What kind of act is that? An act of mercy! <laughs> Sam, are you about ready? Yes, it's a glorious three-hour finale. You got a minute and a half! <laughs> okay, everybody, get ready! Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the Muppets proudly present the final demonstration of Muppet Vision 3D! <laughs> Backlot Express trying to find some holiday treats and see if they still have the cranberry thing and the Mickey hat. Let's see if they have. All right, guys. So here we go. We got the chocolates, hazelnut, pine cone, and the blondie that has like cranberry and stuff in it. I think it was like some orange in it is what it was. So yeah, a couple holiday treats. We tried to get in November, couldn't get them. We got them now. So we're gonna go eat these and I think hop on the Skyliner and go to Art of Animation to get some kiddos, some lunch. So let's chat down to these and I will tell you what how they uh, how they were. Carson, what did you think about the pine cone? Because now it's gone. Did you like it? You like the rice crispy? The thing on the bottom was like a rice crispy base. That thing Camden is holding is what the moose was sitting on. So it's really just rice krispies like molded together. How was I, it? I ate most of the pine cone. Yeah, you ate most of it, all right. And then this thing, I guess it's okay. I haven't tried it yet. How was the cookie? The blondie? Eh. Nobody likes it but mom. I'll try it. All right. Getting on the Skyliner again, Cam. We're gonna head to maybe Art of Animation, get some lunch, Carson. And then take a break. They are on group number 72 now for Rise of the Resistance, so we just have a little bit of time to kill. All right, all right, all right. DuckTales. Here we go. I do love these uh, Skyliners, man. This is a fun way to get around. Coming in for a landing. Thank you for flying. That's the same one we saw over there. Heck yeah, we didn't switch any. I'm surprised it's just so amazing. All right, we're here. All the shore that's going ashore. All right, walking around Art of Animation. Carson, this is a cool resort, right? Last time we were here, it was uh, pitch black outside. We came like super late at night, so now you get to see it all during the day. Did they purposely? It's pretty cool. Camden keeps begging to stay here one night before like a cruise. I want to, I want to see one of the ginormous sweets. 
Maybe one day. So for lunch, they have a lot of different kind of burgers. Classic burger, cheddar brioche burger, applewood smoked bacon cheddar burger, grilled chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, and the kids, it's just chicken tenders or hamburger slash cheeseburger. So these two little guys got cheeseburgers. All right, guys, how are the burgers? Cheeseburger's good. You can try to get pizza at Hollywood and Vine later. Deal? Yeah. So we had your tasty lunch, right Carson? You had a cheeseburger. Uh -huh. And now we're gonna hop back on the Skyliner and go to Hollywood Studios because in less than 20 boarding groups we get on. So we're gonna go do a couple of things and uh, just wait for that boarding group. So back to the Skyliner. All right, at Caribbean Beach heading back to Hollywood Studios and even here on the Skyliner line, they tell you, hey, you're out of luck if you don't have a boarding pass already. And we're back. So now we are at boarding group 85, I think is what it was. So 15 more to go, maybe an hour, I don't know. But we have, it's just about noon now. We have a 12.15 rock and roller coaster roller fast pass. So I think we're gonna go do that. Maybe Carson can do the lightning racing academy. So we'll go kill a little more time and then finally we'll be on rise. All right, now it's time for rock and roller coaster. 87, number 87, so we're getting closer. Hopefully by the time we write this, we'll definitely be a good little bit into the 90s, and then rise will be soon. But first, we rock. That is the line for Rock and Roller Coaster, wrapped all the way back behind the guitar. I don't think I've ever seen that. That is insanity. 140 minute wait, but we've got a fast pass. This is the fast pass line. It is backed up all the way to just about the touch point to get in for the fast pass line. I have never been into this long again. The week after Christmas, this is what you get. So pack your patience. Sorry, folks, we gotta go. Chris, can you grab my blacklist, Paul? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? Oh, come on, you know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, yeah that's right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Is send them all with you? Yeah. Wait a minute, I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Yeah. Yeah. Make it happen. Give us some. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll make it happen. Getting close. There you go. Wow. Alright, Cam, our ride's here. You ready to rock? And roll. I almost couldn't make it in time because traffic is jammed in all the second row. But what do you worry, know? We've got you covered. Just keep it right here on LA's classic rock station. So we are back in Batu, Galaxy's Edge, one more time today for Rise of the Resistance. Boarding group 99. We're boarding group 100. That means we're next. Kim, are you excited? Uh-huh. All right. Finally, after waiting all day, we finally get to go. In three years, we've been waiting. Yep, let's do it. All right, Carson, this is number 99. Our status completing pre flight checks. We're almost there. All right. Boarding group 100. Hey. You ready? Yeah. Carson, you ready? Hold your magic band. We got to touch it. And we're going to get in. All right. We're in. Oh. This way, this way. Oh, here we go. Carson, we're here. Hey, we've only been up since 4 a.m. to get on this ride. Holy cow. This is pretty cool. After looking at this queue for so long, we're finally in line. Like I was trying to say earlier, 
We woke up at 4 a.m. Got our boarding pass at 6 a.m. It's almost 1 p.m. It's been a long day. But totally worth it, right, Carson? That's so cool. Here. The taxi this is awesome. It. Like all the mapping. All the cool little props. I mean, I love the line for Smuggler's Run. So this is pretty awesome, too. Oh, he smokes. So much to see. Wow. Let's pay attention because you never know what you might see. It's very cavernous in here. This feels like the hallways on Smuggler's Run. It's like very narrow. Oh, yeah. Where does this take us, Cam? Where does this take us? Wow. Some heavy artillery. Outfits. I wish we could just go super slow through here to plug it every day. So much to see. You keep moving so fast. Please fill in all this available space and you'll hold the line. Wow. Alright, first briefing room. Whoa, BB8! Transport is away in 30 seconds. 
least he knows to keep his hands to himself. That's right. Great business. Good job. Stay out of trouble. Oh, 
Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. <laughs> time to process that ride but short review is best freaking ride ever i would book a trip to disney world just to do rides of the resistance if i was you if you were on the fence about it you're saying oh, i'm gonna wait for the crowds to die down don't wait just come and ride this thing it is fantastic so from the time we tapped your magic vans it was 12:50, and we got off and it was about 1 30 so it was about 40 minutes total but most of that like megan was just saying you are constantly doing something you're in a pre-show or you're looking at the queue it flies by i need time to process it more i think to give like a real review but i mean it's totally easy to say that's the best ride i've ever been on the trackless part the drop it's not really a drop you kind of detach a little bit you go down and then you're like a simulator it was fantastic so I think I need to process it more and then I can give you a full review, but it's the best ride ever, right Cam? Yeah! Best ride ever, so now we are up, oh, here comes the Jedi training, Trials of the Temple kiddos, more Star Wars on our day. That's super cool. Here we come! Here we come! That's really cool. Anyway, so. We got up at 4 o'clock this morning. Carson was up in the middle of the night, so we're all super tired. It is 1.35 now, so we have a little time to go back to the room, kind of shower up, and we got to come back for Hollywood and Vine. So we're going to take a break, rest up a little bit, and uh, we'll be back at Hollywood Studios in a little while. But Rise of the Resistance, wow. Two hours later. And we're back. 
We got to go back to the hotel for a couple of hours. And where are we headed to, Cam? Um, no. Uh, Hollywood and Vine. And it's the seasonal dine thing, so we get to go see Santa Goofy. Oh. And do a little buffet action. So, let's head on inside. Eat some grub. The weather is definitely a bit different than it was this morning. It's not pouring rain anymore, so that's a good start. All right, Hollywood and Vine, seasonal dine with Minnie and all our pals Santa Goofy and all that. We are getting ready to check in. It's supposed to be like a new rule during the holidays or something where you can't check in more than 10 minutes before your reservation time. Usually that never flies, but we'll check in in a minute and then we'll go meet some characters and go eat. All right, guys, that was a long wait to get checked in, but now we are. Hold on. I timed it on my watch. And, and here they give you like a little card. And you get to go take a picture with Santa Goofy. He wasn't up front when we came in. So you get to take that up there and take a picture with him. But I actually think, honestly, we sat here at one point, like this specific booth. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Some announcement. Very cool. I'm ready to eat. Carson, you're not hungry, are you? All right. Plate number one. This buffet is insane and kind of slow, but that's all right. And the plates are kind of tiny, but whatever. Uh, what do we get? We got uh, mac and cheese with shrimp in it. That sounds pretty good. Sweet potato casserole. This is like stuffing with cranberries in it, I think is what it was. There's like a beet salad with spinach and goat cheese, mashed potatoes, sweet and sour meatballs, and Brussels sprouts with cranberries. Carson, your stuff looks good. You just went straight up kid section. Corn dog nuggets, tater tots, and bread. Cam, and you got a lot of good looking stuff too. How's the chicken? Yum, yum. All right, guys. Eat up, Carson. All right, first impressions? It's really good. I've watched so many vlogs where people give this place a hard time for whatever reason, but I tried a little bit of everything so far, and it's really good. The shrimp mac and cheese is fantastic. The sweet potato casserole is super good. The stuffing is really good. The meatballs, everything has been fantastic so far. It's like a little bit of a, it's what it is. It's a holiday night, and everything has been super duper good. So, so far, pretty impressed. You do the buffet real quick. We have a salad section with all the toppings and whatnot on there, tons of different dressings. Oh, there's pretzel bread and regular rolls as well. There is a roasted butternut squash soup, a vegetable soup. I have that, the roasted almond squash salad with farro and black rice. And then there's some beets with spinach and goat cheese. They've got some peel and eat shrimp. They've got some crab claws. They've got garlic mashed potatoes with gravy. They've got corn. They've got smoked chicken, beef meatballs. There's that shrimp mac and cheese that I had, and it is super duper good. Sauteed Swiss chard. They've got green bean casserole, Brussels sprouts with dried cranberries, beef stew. They've got crusted mahi, fixed up pork loin, three bean quinoa, hammers with acorn squash, sweet potato casserole, gnocchi. They've got salmon. They've got apple cranberry cornbread stuffing. We've got a carving station, and then for the kiddos, they have tater tots, chicken, mac and cheese, chicken tenders, all that good stuff. So, pretty good uh, array of food here at the seasonal dine. All right, plate two. I got more sweet potato casserole because I love it, more stuffing because I love it, and more shrimp mac and cheese because I love it. I also got fig stuffed pork. I got the turkey with cranberry, another um, sweet and sour meatball, and then some kid stuff. Chicken and corn dog nuggets. And Carson is just mesmerized by Donald. Do you see Donald? What's he doing? He's looking for a Sharpie. Oh, he needs something to sign. Hi, Mickey. You don't want to miss Mickey, do you? You can go back and get more, okay? Mom will help you. Hi, Mickey. Good job. Hi, Mickey. Aw, Mickey looking very festive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's you, yeah. Mickey. And happy birthday. Yeah, ready? One, two, three. Got it. Thank, Thank you, Mickey. Mickey. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. 
Awesome. All right, dessert time. Vanilla ice cream with caramel sauce and chocolate syrup. Peppermint and blondie. Mini chocolate bun cake. This was like a cranberry apple tart, I think, something like that. This is an eggnog cheesecake, and this is like a cranberry white chocolate red pudding. So that looks good. And Carson, what'd you get, dude? It's like a eggnog, or I think it was the eggnog cheesecake. I think. I'll see if he likes it. And how's your food still? Good. I'm almost done with this plate. Because you saw him come out with dessert and you were like, oh, that looks good. I heard you. And now you want dessert? Yeah. I got you. Well, go eat dessert when you're ready. What you guys doing? We're decorating green. So what is it? So they're like stickers and they give you like, I think this is a map. Let me see it. No, it's a little wreath. Yeah. Can you hold it up so I can see it? Minnie's Holiday Done in Hollywood and Vine. And then they give you like a little sticker page. And then you decorate your wreath. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Hey Carson, who are we going to go see? Say it to Goofy. There he is. Hope you've been good. Hi Goofy. Good job. Thank you. Look how cool it is. Carson, it's all lit up. The Santa Claus. And a reindeer. And the big tree. Doesn't it look pretty? How was your dinner? Good. Cam, how was your dinner? Good. It was good. I liked it. That was really good. I heard so many negative reviews for for whatever reason. I didn't remember it being bad. I actually thought it was pretty good. So anyway, now we are done with Hollywood and Vine and we're gonna walk back to Galaxy's Edge for like the fourth or fifth time today. And I think we're gonna do Smuggler's Run. We were thinking about Star Tours, but that went from a 35 minute wait while we were in there, we got out. And now it's like a 95 minute wait or longer. Smuggler's Run is the same time. I think about 90 minutes, so I think I'd kind of rather go wait for that. So I think we're probably gonna go do Smuggler's Run. So let's head over there. Merry Christmas, Gertie. All right, we are back in Batu and Galaxy's Edge to go on Smuggler's Run, and it's down to 60 minutes now, so it keeps getting shorter and shorter. So we're gonna hop in line and fly the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy, man. You've seen the backside of water, but have you seen the underside of the Falcon? All right, guys. Time to go see Hondo. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and planners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Pilot, you got an engineer. Yeah, I yeah, just got my ticket. Hello. Ah, a friend of flight crew. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order trading shipment of Coaxia. Gunners, you play the part. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are pulled that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. Here we go. Repair test. Hit your flashing buttons. I'm the pilot this thing. Right pilot, push the flashing button yeah. to take off. Pilot Here we go. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly out. And push forward to fly down. Weapons are on life. Containers are 
would greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Now I have to buy modest profit. Your god minus what you owe me for damaging the thousand Hey, not bad. Carson, better get a move on before the Wookiee sees it. Yeah, we gotta get going before You broke your ship. Yeah, we broke your ship. Just a little damage. All right, all right. We just got to pilot the Falcon again. It was awesome. And now we're gonna go get some milk and then maybe try to do another thing or two before we cruise on out of here for the night because we've been up since like 4 a.m. Very tired. So let's get some milk and then uh, I want to do sunset greetings and we'll see what we get into. Look, Carson. So that was one, and then I think there's like four other ones. I think it's like five they rotate through. So let's uh, see if we can catch a couple more. <laughs> Carson, Toy Story. Toy Hotel. Super cool. That was fun. Hollywood Toy Hotel. That's fun. All right, so that's a wrap from Hollywood Studios. We've been here since, what time did we get here? Like 4.45 today? We've been here a long time other than showering up and taking a quick break. So that's gonna do it. I think we're gonna go back to the boardwalk for a little bit and hang out in our room and have a slumber because tomorrow we've got an early day. So let's head on back. This is one of my favorite things about staying at the beach club or the boardwalk, or I guess the yacht and the swan and dolphin if you stayed there. At the end of the night, after you ate all that junk all day, you can take a nice 20 minute walk 
back here is Sorry. our... What? That was my water bottle. Oh, yeah. Megan's crackling a water bottle. But anyway, the walking path from Hollywood Studios to the Boardwalk Resorts is super nice. You can burn off all those calories, and it's super nice out right now. During the summer, though, it is not so much fun. And when it's raining. But when the weather's nice, it's a super nice walk. And it gets real dark and quiet, as you can see, so... But it's nice. Let's go. Cool. How long have you been doing that? What? How long has this been going? Oh, now I messed it up. What's your name? Camden. How old are you? Eight. Good. Stay right here. <laughs> One hand here. Another hand here. One, two, three. Big smile to the camera. Yeah, very impressive. Did you get it? You got it. Sweet. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye. All right, everybody. So that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, we are back in our room, obviously, here on the boardwalk. And what a view it is at night. It is so cool. I love it. Last night was pretty dead because of the way the weather was, but much more lively out there tonight. We found out that we're on top of Tartoria Alfarno. And I haven't done it yet, but Ample Hills is calling my name. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. But I will be uh, getting some Ample Hills very soon, I'm sure. Cam, are you tired, buddy? It's been a long day. We got up at, well, Carson woke us up at like 12.30 in the morning because he had a bad dream. We were up with him for at least, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes or whatever. And then up for good at 4 a.m. so we could do Rise of the Resistance. But it was well worth it. This view is fantastic. I don't know how long I'm going to enjoy it for tonight because I am dead dead tired so thanks again for watching we had a great day today like i said we got uh, up at four we were at hollywood studios all day but we did all three rides in toy story land we did rise of the resistance we did smugglers run we did rock and roller coaster we saw muppet vision can then i'm probably forgetting something else i don't know i feel like we did a lot today we got a lot accomplished so swirling so yeah well i said all three toy story land rides so we did it all so i think we got a lot done we have to be up and at it not early early not as early as today but magic kingdom opens at 7 a.m of course it does so it's got to open up early but we're gonna have a good time tomorrow we've got our fast passes set up we're gonna have the boathouse for dinner and uh, it's gonna be a good time but if i have to be awake any longer i'm gonna go crazy so i'm gonna go get some sleep thanks again so much for watching i will leave you with one last view of the boardwalk and talk to you tomorrow so everybody have a great night and thanks for watching another episode of nick does disney Goodbye, everybody, and good night to all.